it's Amanda, and I'm coming to you with another video. This has been a pretty fairly often requested video, and um, the video is asking what I like to do with my fountain pens. Like, what do I write with my fountain pens? Okay, like, these are all empty. I've been cleaning pens out because I want to do a currently inked, and I want to ink like a whole bunch of new pens with like a bunch of inks. I'll talk about that in a little bit, but um, yeah, like what do I do with my fountain pens? Like how, what do I write with my fountain pens? And honestly, the answer is a lot of things. Um, what do I use my fountain pens for? Basically everything. The only time that I don't use a fountain pen is if I have to white something out because you're really not supposed to use white out. I'll use um, like a ballpoint pen or gel pen or whatever. I also don't use a pen when a pencil works. But what do I do with my pens? Well, first of all, I write letters to people. Um, sometimes I'm better about that than others. I have actually, in a preparation for Inko Rymo, have actually written um, letters to some people that had been outstanding. I have a lot more people to write to, but I've gotten a couple things out to people that I've been meaning to get to. So one of the things, I'll just start in no particular order. Um, my like 30 inks, 30 days challenges. Um, this is last year's Hobonichi because I left the other one in my room and this one was sitting out here. Um, so obviously I do these little challenges. I love the way these calendars turn out. But I don't really use the book that much when it's not, like, if it's not a 30-day month. So what I do is I just, like, I'll write lyrics down. Uh, if I have, like, pens that are, um, like, that I'm getting ready to empty, then I'll just empty it on a page and just see what the ink looks like because I love doing that. Just a way to use pens and, like, play with ink and whatever. Um, so, yeah, so I'll just... I'll just mess around, color in a whole page, or like instead of doodling, like this is what I do. Like I'll color a whole page with a pen. Sometimes I empty the pen out and just like smoosh it and just do that, swish it around, and sometimes I'll actually like physically color it. I don't know what ink this was, but it's really pretty. Ooh, there's a little bit of shade on that. Oh, nice. Okay. Anyway. Um, ooh, look at that. Oh, that's Sailor Six. Oh, I did start, I did start labeling these. Did I label this one? Um, no, it looks like maybe I tried to do something there. I don't know. But, um, Sailor 650. I love the sheen on Sailor 650. Like, how great is this? This is my, in my Wicked Witch pen. Troublemaker Fox Glove. Like, if I get tired of an ink, or like I did swatches in a video once, um, I'll just do it. Because it's Tomoe River paper, which is like my favorite paper. Um... Yeah, but then I'll do my little challenges where I was doing quotes of the day, but then I realized I had like a memory on Instagram pop up. Oh, I love this gray. Um, and I have both of these in bottles now. Um, I realized after getting like a memory from Instagram that the website that I was getting my daily quotes from, it's brainyquote.com, they recycle the same quote on the same day. So like, on April 18th every year, this is one of the quotes that's on their page. And I'm like, oh. Like, once I realized that, I was like, oh, I don't really, I don't really want to use that anymore. So, yeah. So, anyway. So, like, my little challenge is I'll do rock your handwriting. I'll do um, inky prompts. I'll just do whatever. Just as a way to use my pens and play with them. Um, yeah. Because, yeah. And so, like, like I said, on the days when it's not a 30 inks, then I just kind of use it for whatever. I was using it as, like, work scrap paper. So just everything. So that's that. Um, the next thing that I do is I have a uh, Chic Sparrow. And this in this notebook, I have um, that other A5 Everyday Notebook. Used to be in here, but I wasn't really using it for anything. So now it's kind of become, like, my little swatch book. But I have a pen pal tracker that I'm not very good about using, but each person like has a page and I try to kind of write down like what I've sent them um, and when I've sent them things and I don't think, yeah, I was going to use it as like a little address book and I haven't really gotten that far with it. I'm really bad about using it. Um, and then this notebook is one that I use a lot. I write um, like video notes. Like, it, when I edit the videos, like, if there's, if I say, like, oh, I'm going to link something, I try to, like, timestamp it so I can put the little card in there. Um, 
I'm not consistent about using this one either, but I use this one a lot often, a lot more often. And then this, I guess, I just wrote, I write down lyrics, I don't know, this is just a scrap notebook. I decided to start writing the books that I've read this year, Oops. the books that I've read this year in this one. So, um, yeah, I guess this is like a book journal sort of thing, like a collection. And then I have um, some stickers and some letters and some washi tape. This is washi tape from Casey. Um, yeah, and the little, um, the liner pages. Um, yeah, so I just have that like stuffed in here. And then this is kind of like my little, it's kind of like my pen pal notebook sort of thing. Um, also, I'm going to probably have to pause this video in a little bit because my food is on the way. Yay! So this is the Chic Sparrow. It's an A5 traveler's notebook. This is the Mockingbird Leather and Nightingale. I don't think that this exists anymore, but I got it in a, I don't, I think this was a second sale and I, I think this was a second. Um, I bought it in their second sale and this is the one that I got and I love it. I also have a Chic Sparrow Odyssey Hera that I use a lot. Um... But this is the one that I'm, this is the one that I have set up for like pen pal stuff. And this is the one that I've been using actively. Um, another thing that I like to do is I have this Hippo Noto notebook. Um, I didn't really know what to do with it. It has like the cream paper. I started off using it as a journal, which is what I have <coughs> um, blocked off here. And I think I did like a currently inked page. I was going to try to use it for morning pages, but I just wasn't something that I was using. Let me see what the date is. Like 2018. Like I was trying to make this my journal. Um, and I just didn't, it wasn't a thing that worked out for me. So um, I didn't like the size, at least at the beginning. I think like in the middle it would be easier. But anyway, so what I did is I started, um, this song came out and I really liked it. It like the lyrics kind of spoke to me and the music was good and I liked it so I just started um writing down song lyrics because it's a way to like use up my pens so uh, yeah so yeah so I just like write down song lyrics um got really obsessed with I don't know how so I started writing all their songs down um yes so like yeah I go in phases like I get like obsessed with like a band or song like this is when I found young blood and started writing down like all their songs um I really love young blood like that is one of my the greatest discoveries of the pandemic is uh, discovering young blood this is gourmet pens pink it's so pretty I don't always write the ink down um I try to be better about doing that um, white lies that is another discovery of the pandemic courtesy of my Freco. Um, yeah, some more sleeping at last. Lady Gaga. This version of this song is like my favorite thing. Um, um, occasionally I will ask friends for songs to, for them to pick songs and then I listen to it and then write it out. Still Breathing by Green Day is one of my absolute very favorite songs. Um, I cry. I saw them in concert in 2017, and I cried when they played this. Our Lady Peace. Smashing Pumpkins. Macy Gray. That was another Picked by a Friend song. Ugh, Smashing Pumpkins. I don't even know how I, like, went down this rabbit hole, but I just, like, started, like, looking up songs. Ah, uh, Twisby Midnight Blue. Can I get the disco? Oh, I love them. Flicker Stick, yes! And I did this in Taylor, Texas because they're a band from Texas and I loved them back in the day. Ugh, oh, Flicker Stick. These were 30 Inks days. These were 30 Inks. Um, from when I did my bottled ink. So anyway, yeah. Oh, Travis. Oh, man, I love Travis. More Rasmus. More, um... Water parks. Was that? I don't know how. More Travis. Oh, I think I wrote this one twice. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, fuel. 
more I don't know how it, their album came out and I realized I hadn't written their songs down so that's just like a thing that I like to do um, I started writing out the young, young blood album um, this is a song that I have been obsessed with for literally like three weeks I just have been aside from the last few days I've been listening to it non-stop anyway yeah oh I love this song too um yeah so there we go awesome so that's what I like to do just for funsies I spent way too much time on that but I'm really this is like probably my most used notebook and I'm really proud of the fact that I've used so much of this notebook like I've used like half the notebook that's like a record for me because I usually get like this far in and then stop <laughs> so yeah so it's just something I like to do um also I like to um pull a tarot card a day this is the deck that I use I found it on Instagram it was so it was so pretty that I would just like I just like had to have it and um like I like obsessed about it for a really long time and then um it's just look at those cards look at them they're just so pretty they're so pretty and they're like they have foiling on them and they're like iridescent and they're just gorgeous they're just gorgeous so anyway, so I like to um, do a tarot card pull a day. I haven't been doing it. Um, I haven't been doing it the last couple months, really. Probably the last month or so. I think I did one at the beginning of the year, maybe. But that's what I use. This this is a Galen leather um, notebook, and it's one of their leather covered ones. This is the A5 size and the Crazy Horse Green. Um, oh, I did a couple. This is Colorverse Dirty Red and Shiny Black. Like, how freaking gorgeous is that? Um, this page is actually coming out. Um, ooh, that gives me an idea. Okay, but anyway. So this is one of those um, Galen Leather Notebooks. And, um, yeah, I just... Um, I did... Yeah, I did a card of the day. I did a card of the day for my birthday. And then I did a card of the day for... Um, the first of the year, and then I pretty much haven't touched it since then, but I was doing it for a while, especially during 30 inks, like doing one a day and just like using a different ink, and I love the way this paper feels. I really want to get some more of these notebooks. They don't necessarily have to be the leather kind, but I do want to get some more of these notebooks because I'm really enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. I ha keep the guide sheet in here, but I have started like kind of not using the guide sheet. Um, if I do use the guide sheet though, I have one of these little, um, these little clips. It's a kitty cat. They're by Midori. I got them in a, um, we got one, we got one clip in an ink flight and mine was a little coffee cup. So I sent it to a friend and then I bought a set of the cat and the moon ones because I thought they were so cute. So I just used that to, um, hold the guide sheet in place. Um, it also acts sort of as a bookmark and then um, yeah and then I just write down basically I write the description from the book because it's helping me like learn the cards and then if I have any like feelings or thoughts about it then I'll journal them as well and then I just keep that all in here and that's that's what I'm using that notebook for um, also I have my actual journal this is another book that I'm really excited is used as much as it is because this is like over half full um this is a b6 slim cafe uh, Nan nananui paper company cafe note b6 slim notebook it has the really teeny tiny gr dot grid so actually my favorite pen to use in these is something with an extra fine nib which is not usual for me but um i tend to like write way too big for the grid spacing and i have a like a page that I don't mind showing you um but here's kind of what I do like I write out the date like in words and I write the pen and I write the ink that I'm using and then I do a little swabby swab and then um yeah and then just kind of like write a bunch of stuff like this is when I started playing Bloodborne it took me I'm not even kidding you I, also I swear in here so if sorry I should have warned you if you don't like that um just ignore it but um 
I like I like swear words. I think they're wonderful, and I d try not to use them so much on like in a video because I know not other people feel that way. But I love swearing. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so um, I like swab the ink a little bit and then I just kind of write and a lot of it's like, yeah, I beat the cleric beast. I can't believe it. Um, work was good. Um, I'll write about like the pen that I'm using. Yeah, this pen and ink combo is amazing. <laughs> like um, this is blocked off because I want to put a picture here. I'll s throw some washi tape in here. Like, so I'll just, you know, I'll write about my thoughts. I'll write about my feelings. Um, yeah. And then this cover is a chic sparrow. B6 Slim Folio. But anyway, it's a waypoint. It's Misty Mountain. I love it. It's like molded to this notebook. And I don't know if I'm going to take this notebook out of it or just leave it in there and get another cover. And then this is just the book. Um, if I do that, I do know that I want another waypoint. I have it inscribed with Hello Lovely because that's like my internet name everywhere. It has been since the freaking Dark Ages. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I just love how it feels on here. I love carrying it. I love, ugh, I just love it. So yeah, it gets scuffed up. I've been, I've been taking it with me because like, I just feel like I have a lot on my mind lately and I want to be able to write in my journal whenever instead of like, instead of like bottling those feelings and thoughts and like trying to remember like six hours later when I am at home and in a place when I can journal. Um, and honestly, I've been writing a lot more because I've been carrying it with me more. So, um, yeah, it comes with me to work or wherever I'm going. And if I get a chance to, like, stop and even if I'm at work and I just, like, feel the need to, like, stop and write down stuff, then I will. So, yeah, I just love, I love this book, though. I love this book. I have another one. It's lined instead of grid. And, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this or if I'm going to upgrade. I have a couple of A5 size notebooks. I just really love this size. It's been a successful size for me. So I'm torn about whether or not I want to up, like, upsize or not. So we'll see what happens. But um, I have quite a bit. I have a quite a bit. I started this book. Yeah, I've been using this book since like 2019. <laughs> Pretty much my journaling has picked up this year. Um, I wrote a little bit... A few times, a few days in 2019, starting in August, I did some watercolor swatching. Um, but yeah, pretty much, yeah, from these watercolor color pages on, let's see. Um, on the 1st of January, I tried to like start doing this, like I made a... Welcome 2021. So this, this much here is uh, 2020. <laughs> so, so yeah. So I've done, so basically I can probably fit the rest of the year in this book and then um, I'll need a new notebook next year. But yeah, that's my journal. Um, also, I have planners um, that I use them in. Um, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. This is also in another Chic Sparrow cover. I just put it in here yesterday. Um, I actually, I don't think I've used fountain pens a whole lot. Oh, I use it in my note pages. Um, some goals that I'd like to have, some books that, I, that I've read. I haven't put that in here yet. Um, pen stuff wish list, um, books that I wanna read. Um, actually one of these I can cross off because I just got it today. It was just dropped off. My bookstore, um, my local bookstore kind of does like a DoorDash thing where they'll um, bring it to you. So this popped up on somebody's list and I love the cover and I love, like I said, I love swear words. So I love swear words and titles and, um, yeah, so I'm going to read this book. So yeah, so, um, I've decided I'm going to do a pen stuff low buy and basically, I'm going to still buy ink flights. I'm going to still buy Twisbees. I'm collecting the 50 states at this point, and so I'm going to keep doing that. And I really want my Visconti. So I think I'm going to set up like a separate like little, like either like a physical envelope and like take cash out or a set aside a little money because I really want to get the uh, Midnight in Florence if I can find it. And uh, part of me is like, just buy it now because then you'll have it. But also I really want to like make a conscious effort of saving the money towards it instead of just spending because I happen to have that much money in my account. Like it's stupid. So anyway, mostly though I've been using um, 
my um, Hobonichi pen in here, but I do use fountain pens in here. Um, yeah. And, um, yeah. So I do, yeah, use fountain pens in here. But And then I also have my big Hobonichi, which honestly I've been using the weeks more like as of this week, but I also have my Hobonichi um, here. Um, it's my monthly calendar, the weekly calendar. I'm really bad about using these weekly calendars, like, like so bad about it, but I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, I pretty much filled this out for this video. <laughs> and then I use the, uh, daily, I mostly use the daily pages in this plan, although I haven't been good about using them for the last week. And I'll do like a lot of like work to do notes. Actually, I can cross some of these things off since I'm here, I'm going to do that. I just did that and I just did that and that's it okay sorry um yeah so then I keep that so I use these I've been using this one more but yeah I do use my planners and um this is like a little thing that I've just started doing this is a little a6 Midori and I've been using this as a bloodborne notebook <laughs> Um, yeah, for like writing down glyphs and like keeping track of like the bosses that I killed because I'm a couple of my characters, I like I have like three or four different characters and I messed up and I'm in New Game Plus on all of them and I messed up and missed some things. So, um, like I started a new character and then decided I didn't want to play her and just deleted it. Um, I'm like keeping track of like weapons for trophies and the reason I started this notebook though is because... Okay, this is going to make sense to, like, three people, but, um, in the game, they have gems, and, um, the gems will help your weapons, like, kind of, like, power up and, like, do better, and I understand, like, the basic premise of it, but I don't, like, understand the minute details, and there are spreadsheets out there, and they just look, like, gibberish to me, so I started, like, studying, um, one of the, one of the, um, wikis on Bloodborne and just, like, trying to, like, figure out what will help me the best and also, like, locations where I can find those gems and, um, stuff like that and I just, like, writing it down just, like, makes things click for me. So, yeah, so that's also what I use fountain pens for. So that's what I use my fountain pens for. Um, this is a very long video. I was expecting this to be, like, 10, 15 minutes, but as usual, I can't stop talking. Anyway, so I have all these. These are all of the notebooks and stuff that I'm, like, really using the most. And I just love them. Here you go. That's, whoops, that's what I'm using my notebook. That's what I use my pens for, on top of letters. Letters and all of these things. <laughs> so when I do a 30 inks, when I do a 30 inks, okay. I'll kind of show you what I do for a 30 inks. For a 30 inks because I try to maximize my pen usage, especially during those days, because I only use one ink a day and one pen. These are the four books that I typically will use because I'll pull a card of the day, try to do this in the morning, sometimes I do it at night. Um, I usually find a song that um, speaks to me, whether it's an old song or a new song or a song I'm obsessed with, I try to write the lyrics down. I journal, excuse me, I journal. And then I have my 30 inks, 30 days stuff here. So these, these are probably the ones that I use the most consistently all the time, always and forever. And then obviously planners. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my stuff. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. What do you use your pens for? I use them for everything. I use them at work. I just use them for everything. I don't have to be precious about like work appropriate inks because anything that I write for work, like there's one instance, one time, one thing that I do at work where I need to um, be mindful of what kind of pen I'm using. And it's usually easier to use a ballpoint or a gel pen for that because the paper that I have to write on is crap. So it's like basically newsprint. And so it's, I know. No. So I just, I like, that's the only time that I don't use a fountain pen. That, or like I said, when I write, use whiteout or when a pencil is more appropriate. But if I'm using a pen, I'm using a fountain pen. So 
yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this video what are your favorite things to write do you like do do you do anything like fun like fun writing activities i know some people i know um mystery was like transcribing a book and i've seen lots of people on instagram also transcribing books and that's a thing that i think i would like to do maybe but also not because <laughs> because i don't know it sounds fun i i would have like it will take me longer to pick the book than it would take me to write the book out so i don't know although i was thinking maybe great gatsby because i loved the great gatsby when i read it in high school and i reread it um in 2019 and I still loved it like I know it's not the best book ever but I don't know something about it I just love it anyway yes so I have rambled on more than plenty thank you so much for watching thank you for being here I hope you're having a fantastic day it's rainy and gross I mean I like that it's rainy but it's also gross and it's affecting my mood um but yeah so anyway I hope that you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon take care love you bye